join us this morning to acknowledge and celebrate the hard work of our Garden Valley students, families, and staff for being a 2022 California Pivotal Practice Award. A special thank you to, of course, our Garden Valley students and their families, the Garden Valley staff, our Executive Director, Yvette Streeter, Associate Superintendent of School Leadership, Dr. Lori Grace, and District Superintendent, Dr. Steve Martinez. I would now like to introduce some of our youngest scholars from Ms. Walton's TK, Mrs. Waddell's Kinder, and Mrs. Maxwell's first grade class, who will now recite the Falcon Pledge. Award, otherwise referred to as CAP, recognizes not only districts but individual schools for demonstrating exceptional achievement in student support programs in the virtual learning environment. Garden Valley Elementary was the only Twin Rivers Unified School honored and was one of only four schools in the Sacramento County to receive this award. Twin Rivers Unified was also designated as a 2022 CAP awardee and was the only district in Sacramento County to be honored. Yes, you guys can clap, absolutely. The newly established CAP awards are being utilized in place of the California Distinguished Schools Program. Recipients were selected based on demonstrated efforts in four target areas. 
These include student engagement, distribution of technology, nutrition services, and social emotional well-being of students. It is an honor to receive recognition for our efforts to create a virtual learning environment as dynamic as the traditional experiences our students received in the classroom. With a focus on ensuring balance, social emotional support, oh my friends, Falcon Pride. Garden Valley's student performance increased. And we helped our students with strategies to nurture their social emotional well-being. Garden Valley created virtual links, which we, the students know as SOAR doors. So students could easily enter their teacher's virtual classroom and then quickly click and go to their intervention classroom, virtual recess, or library time. Students' hard work was recognized every week with iReady videos sent out to families on our communication platforms. We also worked tirelessly to make virtual learning as engaging in person as in-person learning and continued with spirit weeks and movie nights in a virtual setting. Today, students can still access or enjoy some of our pandemic creations, such as our Garden Valley Story Corner, Mayan Library, our mindful moments for their social emotional needs, and our weekly iReady videos recognizing their achievements. Our parents have also become quite savvy with the Zoom platform and continue to Zoom to attend parent conferences and special education meetings. Our academics have continued to show strong growth in spite of the pandemic. To showcase our achievement, Garden Valley will be receiving a flag from the Department of Education. That flag will fly proudly at the front of our school, designating Garden Valley as a 2022 California Pivotal Practice Award recipient. The banner you see here to my right will also be hung on the front fence to share our designation with the community. We are so grateful for this honor and will continue to work hard to help all of our students master grade level standards and remain the number one school for iReady reading progress in the Twin Rivers Unified School District. At this time, I would like to invite three students, Tiana, Guillermo, and Pliana, to come to the front and present the Optimist's Creed. Round of applause for our team fifth graders. Okay, with that said, the Garden Valley students and staff would once again like to thank you for coming today and 
for all of your support. It takes a strong community to educate, nurture, and help our students to achieve their potential. As you look around at our staff, we truly believe that we are stronger together. The California Pivotal Practice Award is an amazing honor to validate the work done during this pandemic. Thank you again. Yeah. Round of applause for each and every one of you. At this time, we would like to first dismiss our TK and kinder classes to celebrate back in their classrooms. 